the 70s for the week ahead. So 56 goes into 76, mid 70s, a 20 degree temperature climb coming our way, you guys, as we go throughout the afternoon. We'll talk more about the potential for some showers tomorrow. The timing of those look to be late afternoon, but certainly not a washout of a weekend. A high today of 76 in New York. Mike? Look forward to all of the a little cooler north and west, and actually that's where our eyes will focus up for the afternoon in the case of getting a shower. But right now, so quiet on the satellite and radar picture, hardly a cloud out there. During the day today, we'll see some changes with moisture moving in. And as you can see already from the satellite picture here, we put the surface temperatures on yesterday, mid-70s to the cool mid-50s this morning. We'll need that daytime heating in the afternoon to get our temperatures uh, or our skies back um, ready to produce some moisture. So here we are at noon today. Notice that we've got a southerly flow of moisture, especially for the Jersey Shore. That's going to make for some warmer temperatures there. South facing shores of Long Island, you could get some cool air from the ocean influence. And then there's Back in here, just a little bit of chaos, a little bit of unsettled weather, and that's exactly where we see the blue popping up on the map, and that could be a shower or maybe even a rumble of thunder through the afternoon or evening. Again, things quiet down overnight. It's cool. Clouds come and go. We start mainly cloudy on Sunday morning. It'll be a land breeze for the Jersey Shore tomorrow during much of the day before the afternoon produces some warmer temperatures, probably just enough to get us into the low 70s on Sunday afternoon. Again, passing showers can't be ruled out, especially between, say, 3 and 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures stay in the 70s, though. Things are looking good. Air quality is good. UV index is a high rating, and pollen counts are moderate to high, with tree pollens being the main problem. Uh, shower, especially north and west, is where we'll look for that chance. Incredibly inspiring story. A few years ago, we brought you the story of Katie Starkmonte, whose fight against cystic fibrosis launched the viral hashtag oomph for Katie. We're happy to say Katie is thriving, recently became a new mom, thanks to the generosity of her own sister. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager has her to city. Well, we're starting actually with the mid 40s for Andover. Monticello has 44, Poughkeepsie 46. We've got mid to upper 50s in other spots. Islip currently at 57 degrees. Belmar on the Jersey Shore, 51 degrees there. Through the afternoon, expect mainly calm winds. Temperatures into the low to mid 70s. We're pushing for 76, which is what we had yesterday. So nothing more really than patchy clouds in and around the area for the early part of the day. Notice uh, we go with surface temperatures in yellow and overnight we cooled to the blue and that's going to be the pattern here where we get nice warm afternoons and cool nights for the next couple of days. High pressures and control that keeps any major storms away. Instead, it's little disturbances that we're seeing here on the future cast. So the disorganization of the wind here you can see in certain spots and that's where you see the blue splotches as well. So a pop-up shower or thunderstorm can't be ruled out in those areas. Late tonight, temperatures dip to the low to mid 50s again. We start with mainly cloudy conditions and then by Sunday afternoon, it's a hit or miss pass shower is what we're expecting. Monday early, skies clear back out again, but there will be a passing shower chance on Monday afternoon as well. Air quality is good. UV index ratings at a 7, which is high. Pollen counts are moderate high as well. 76, the top temperature. That's above average for this time of year. Dropping to the mid-50s tonight, comfortably cool. And then another day in the 70s, but a few more clouds around and a passing shower can't be ruled out. So the AccuWeather 7-day forecast keeps this familiar tone of warm air in the low 70s right through the middle part of the week. And then temperatures get even warmer. I have 78 Wednesday, passing shower on Thursday, almost 80 degrees. Pretty nice AccuWeather seven-day forecast there for the month of May. 722 is the time. We will be right back with more Eyewitness News.